So what's for dinner? Lobster. <laughs> Painted you find, one. You find a good lobster? Painted. Very spiky. It was a bit deep. This time I found. Beautiful. Nice. I wish you would have had more than one. Yeah. Wanna take a chance? Be let me ride. I could be the best thing in your life. Welcome back on board Take It Easy. We just made it to Lady Musgrave on the very far south of the Great Barrier Reef for last stop of the season. In the next couple of days, we need to be on our way down to Kumara next to Brisbane for annual maintenance and repairs. But we still have a couple of days to enjoy here and as if nature wanted to say goodbye in style, it will be one of our best time of the year. First, this is where we saw the most incredible gift of nature, turtle hatchling. If you missed this video, I'll put a link up there. The island is named after Lady Lucinda Musgrave, an American leader of women's charitable projects in British colonies. There are a lot of debates about whether the channel to enter the lagoon is natural. Some say it was cut into by Japanese or Taiwanese fishermen, or that it was widened by miners many years ago. A more probable explanation is the story of William Collins' ship, the Norseman. The Norseman was beached on the Seine Cay to repair some damage to its hull. Colin and his crew may have widened the naturally occurring narrow gap in the reef to get the fixed vessel out of the lagoon. Welcome to Lady Musgrave. Took us a little bit longer but uh, we still made it quite in time. Grab the mooring buoy and now we're gonna go for a quick snorkel. Before the wind gets too strong we better enjoy the north side. I think tomorrow we'll probably not be able to do much. All right let's go in the water. The session started with this. I know it doesn't seem like much but we knew what it meant underwater. <laughs>
What did you think about this session? This session was literally the best we've had ever. <laughs> I mean, maybe not the session, but the last 24 hours, we've seen the baby turtles. And now this snorkel was just amazing. We were with three mentors, I would say. Yeah, there were three big mentors. They came and played with us. And then the snorkel was just really cool. Like we've seen lots of fish. The call is amazing. There was no swell. The sun was there. Like it was just amazing. I'm really, really happy. We just anchored with the dinghy on this small island. There's many birds and there's a lot of stuff. Come, come and see. Maybe we should have taken shoes. What do you think? Today is our last day on the reef, unfortunately. And so we're gonna enjoy the entire day and then we're gonna set sail toward the end of afternoon because we're gonna travel by night. The plan is to try to go outside of Fraser Island and straight to Mululubo. But before that, let's enjoy the rest of the day. We are currently making some water. So that's the noise that you can hear behind me because the water is very clear and it might not be the case on the coast. So just taking advantage of those last reef water. And talking about water, Water, we're gonna go for another session say goodbye to the reef see where we can see today we might be going to the other side of the island which is not a green zone so I don't know maybe see if we can find a lobster or something we don't really need any fish so we probably won't take the spear gun but yeah a lobster would be nice for the last day right let's get changed and let's go see that reef <laughs> What's for dinner? Lobster. Painted you one. Find, you find a good lobster. Painted. Very spiky. It was a bit deep. This time I found. Beautiful. Nice. I wish you would have had more than one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good stuff. <laughs> 
let's be honest, one lobster for six wasn't very much, but even a slight taste of this delectable delicacy brings about a gratifying sensation. So what's the plan next? So now we're gonna have lunch, say bye to our friends because we've spent quite a bit of time with them so it's a bit sad to say bye but they are going north and we are going south. And then we're gonna get ready because we're gonna do two nights in a row trying to get to Gold Coast and catch the wind because after that the wind is shifting again. So it's our last window and we need to make the most progress we can to get to Gold Coast. Alright, then lunch it is and uh, set sail I guess. Yeah. Lucky I didn't drop the phone. Although we would have loved to prolong our stay, our time was limited to just three more days of northerlies, with no wind on Saturday, and Sunday bringing some powerful southeast winds that would hinder our progress. Leaving behind not only our dear friends, but also this heavenly home, was not an easy task. But like we said many times, the wind decides of everything we do, and with an extensive list of repairs to undertake on the vessel, bidding farewell was inevitable. We shall now doubt return in the upcoming season, as we sail up the coast, to rediscover the beauty of this remarkable place. As much as we feel saddened, we also recognize how fortunate we are to have had the chance to experience this wonderland. Join us next time to see our progress towards Kumira. Don't forget to subscribe and drop us a like. See you next time. Bye!